The question for the day during the women's forum is what is it like Esther that a real woman has that a man does not have that is to the advantage of a woman looking at the life of Esther what is it that a woman has that a man doesn't have that can lead to her success in life please let the women discuss it like Queen Esther what do a woman has to her advantage in life that a man doesn't have Her anything, her anything, intuition. anything is everything that you can see in the book of Esther. From the story we've told so far, what do a woman has? What do you think you have as a woman that is to your advantage? If you've been following the story so far, Tell the whole thing. Don't just give. Don't just give one answer. Give. Tell the story. Give the story so that others can learn from you. Everybody listen to that word. The word there is tactful. Do not forget that word that she just used. She was very, very tactful. Please explain that word to your ladies. She got the, she organized the banquet, she got 
got everybody to come into the banquet the way she wanted it. And even then, at the first sitting, she still did not put on the table how she was feeling, what was going on inside of her. Because I could only imagine that there was rage going on inside of her. I put myself in her place. And I'm thinking, you know, but she just let it play it out. And then in the end, when she knew that she had total favor, then she knew that everything was all right, she then put her cards on the table. She gave the king enough time to see through Haman. And that worked to her advantage. That's my take on it. I, I have something else to say. When during her preparation, she got a lot of knowledge about the king, what the king liked, and then she got close to the person who was preparing everybody to go before the king. It was like a beauty contest. But because she was so well trained by, I forgot the eunuch's name, she became the, the, the favorite um, person that was, in, you know, that was brought to him. And not only that, um, they all had a chance to go visit the king. You know, he would call for them. But she didn't go unless she was home or she wasn't making requests. She was, she was quiet. She was just like you know, Rosalind said, she was very tactful. But like with any relationship, you get to know the person and you get to know what they like and what they don't like. And when she went before him, she got dressed in the baddest outfit she had. <laughs> she was looking gorgeous. And, and he, you know, even after the fast, if that's how she went before him, she went before her king in the most, I guess, glorious presentation. And I don't think he could, um, con you know, contain himself. He said, what do you want? I'll give you anything, half of the kingdom. So she knew how to present herself before him. She knew how to get around him. She knew how to be around him. She knew how to get around him. And she basically knew just about how to get him to do, I bet that she could get him to do anything she wants. Mm -hmm. But uh, she did seek the Lord in when. To, uh, it, before and, and during the fast and when was the best time to approach him. And God took care of the rest. So she used her um, beauty and her um, personality, as another word I can't think of, to um, help her in going before the king. Her femininity. You know, I'm thinking that's not the first time I've heard. Is that the, do kings always say that you can have half the kingdom? Or is this just an... It seems like I've heard that before. Is that like a famous saying that kings say like to somebody, like to their queens? <laughs> we told you that, Victoria. <laughs> so I thought I've heard that in another story. Um, but I can't think of the story. Okay. Uh, I agree with you. I, I've read it in the Bible before, but I was just joking. You know, I was joking. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering if, um, how, why they say that. Just like, was just, I, I do know she was just finding favor. She had favor with him, and he just, he just couldn't contain himself. She was so gorgeous. You know, that had, she had the anointing of just being so beautiful and. You know, anything you, you know, she had favor, you know, when she went before him. And that, that was uh, due to her preparation. And part of her preparation was fasting and getting everybody else to fast with her. He didn't know what was coming. <laughs> but Esther did have a lot of faith. Because she knew that um, that fasting was something you even do. So she was a woman of faith. She had a 
have faith in God. And she had the opportunity to actually do something. She she felt all the pressure. She felt like, I'm the only one that can actually do something about this because look who I am. So she probably was constantly in deep thought. <laughs> A woman has a charming spirit to bring a person to the level that the woman wants to bring that person to. She says that the woman has the charm. The word there is charm and spell. The natural thing in a woman to bring any man to whatever level they want to bring that woman, that man to. A woman can make a man. A woman can be the one that make that man to be great. Or a woman can bring that man down to hell. Ne yeah, I agree. Next person, next person, next person. This is time for you to show. This is the woman, women's forum. We want to hear from the ladies.
Zola, Zola, repeat what you've just said. Okay, I think she's off the line. And maybe I think she actually hung up or something. Yeah. So the question is Zola or Mary? No, that's Zola. Mary is already. Mary has finished her contribution. Okay. Victoria, keep on moderating. We are listening to you. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to repeat the question that he asked us. Is, uh, what is it that a woman has that a man doesn't have? Yep. That can lead to a woman's success.
besides looks, I mean, we don't we don't have to do it. We'll figure she's a very beautiful. We're saying that it's just about how she looked. It was something more. She did have a charm to her. Esther did. And, you know, she got to know him. She knew a lot about him. She knew his his um, personality, you know. Um, just like if you're with somebody, you get to know, uh, you know, a lot about them. You can get, you know, before you pray about it, you know, e- even if you're not so beautiful anymore. <laughs> when I was younger, I could just speak and it was done. <laughs> But now it's a little different. But when you know somebody very, very well, you know, you fix them what they like to eat, you fix them their favorite food, you go, you do something, you put on, if they tell you they like what you have, you put on their favorite perfume, you put yourself in a way, they're going to be receptive uh, from you one way or the other. They're going to listen to you, whether it's something they particularly want to hear or not. She already knew a whole lot about him. And I think that um, that's something that has to do with being a woman. And um, and, and I don't know what, how, how she would describe it. But when you're young, you do it one way. When you're older, you do it another way. <laughs> but she was scary. Uh-huh. I, 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 want, I want to add something here. You know they say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And, and she, she used food. She used that banquet. She knew that they liked to eat. And that was that would also draw them. So huh? she, she, you know, she knew exactly what to do with, with, with that banquet. That, that, that was important. She probably made some Jewish food to her eat the... Um, Different kind of food that he's never even had. You never know. Something good. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. and, 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 the, and the wine. You know, she, she knew. And, and that had to be planned out, too, because that had to be something not ordinary. She will, I would assume she'd want something that would make him remember that meal. But also, she knew him, uh, Pearl, but she was not that secure with going to him because she said that she perished, she perished, perished. So she was kind of concerned if she was even going to, he was going to choose. So she did have some concern about him even listening to her about going over there. Because well, that was the protocol. Yeah. But, right, that was the protocol. Right, yeah. That's what I think. But I was really did. She couldn't walk up on him like she wanted to. She had to have permission, but since he didn't send for her, she had to do it her way, which worked. But why was he so concerned? How come she didn't feel like, I know this is protocol, but I know when he sees me, he's just going to accept me. They, maybe they weren't as close as we think they were, you know, because she was, if they had that close connection, uh, because he was always with, um, he was always, like, then we learned that, Haman was occupying her position, and he was always, like, with Haman. And so somehow they weren't that close at the time because she would have been more, like, I know that. I know he loves me, and when he sees me, he's not going to kill me. Even if I go there, I'm going to do the protocol, but at the same time, he's going to accept me. I know it, you know? I'm I'm not sure... I think that the the cultural issue is completely different culture than we're um, than we know, right? Um, men and women really work together all the time. They have several wives and concubines. So, you know, you had your time with him, and some next next week, uh, next tomorrow, somebody else has their time with him. So, yeah, that was something that you know it's hard for us to comprehend as far as being that intimate and close to another person. But um, it says in the, it says it does say in the Bible that she was his favorite. However, I agree with you. She there was no way for her to be sure. There was no way for her to be sure. So she she had to. She really stepped up her game. And she was fast.
And remember that somebody prepared her to know the king. Remember, she asked the questions. So the it was, the eunuch. yeah, the eunuch prepared her for that role. Others, others did not ask questions. How do I please this man? Esther did. Oh, you, know, you can you you bait yeah, that yeah. you bait that Esther is not going to do anything without the person that trained that trained her. Yeah. 